Hello, everyone, and welcome back to uh, yet another Thames Ironworks Community FC uh, Corinthian League for league match. This is actually match day three. Uh, if you're not sure what happened in match day two, check the Thames Ironworks Community FC Twitter. Go and follow that at TIWFC Official. We're here against Central Colts today, who currently sit on the top of the league. We're sitting there with three points uh, with a 4-2 victory in our first game. Uh, they're on the top of the league. Let's see how we can get on against these boys. Top of the league clash. Um, we have a chance to progress up the league if we win this one today. Um, and we'll have another look at the uh, at the league after we finish this one today. So let's get straight into this game. Um, I must say this game, we, don't, we, don't, we didn't catch the first 12 minutes because of our cameraman's inability to um, find a gate. Um, so let's get straight into this one after 12 minutes from a goal kick. So a goal kick by Brown coming up. Wasn't a great chance by Central Colts. Uh, excuse the poor camera work this week because uh, the tripod snapped as we tried to put it on. Um, free kick here to Thames Ironworks. Donald comes forward, rolls it to Gittins. What can he do? So he's going to pump this one forward. You'll get a lovely view of Scott's back there, but I'm telling you now, Danny Charles is on the wing. Plays it inside to Bones. Bones goes inside the area. Cuts it across to Theo. Good strike, but the defender gets it away. Now a chance for Central Colts to come forward. Pings it up towards that number 13. Uh, number 10, sorry. Slides in on Brown, but Brown collects it calmly. Headed back. Number seven's got it on the far side now. Rolls it into the number nine, but given away to Theo. Theo's got a chance to come away now. Plays it down the wing to Reese. Reese, the defender's made a mistake. He's got a chance to come across here. Can he? It's three against two. And oh my lord, what has he done? Reese, all you needed to do is square it. It was three against two. A great chance for Thames Ironworks to take the lead there. Central Colts come forward with number six. Plays it inside. Lovely little ball. Gittins misses it. Comes to the number nine. Finishes. Uh, the players are calling for a handball. Was it handball? The referee's disallowed it. I've... He's coming across to talk to the linesman, who's Scott. He's seen something there. Let's have a look in the replay. The Thames Ironworks players are uh, complaining. So as the number six comes forward here, he plays it inside. Yeah, that's handball. Gittings clears it against the 11, and the 11 puts his arms up, and that's what you know rolls it into the path of the number nine. Uh, the Thames Ironworks players all saw it to be fair the referee disallowed it um, so we carry on from the free kick Central Colts come forward again top of the league of course number 11 snuffed out there by the two defenders Charlie Kerr and Sess oh, Wayne brings on. it forward pumps no it forward way. towards Danny Charles but the keeper comes out brilliantly a little bit of work to do there but he swept that up lovely Central Colts again Ironworks under a bit of pressure great tackle from Gittins uh, he's got to get booked. Goes inside and uh, number 11. Oh, he's asking to be subbed. What is going on here? Well, after creating a couple of chances after 35 minutes, the defenders <laughs> demanding to be subbed after failing Charlie Carr. I've no idea what's going on there. Um, he will come off and we will continue with a free kick here. Is he? No. Kerr places the ball down. <laughs> In the last third. Pumps it forward. Defender sweeps it up. Number six, they have time to bring it down here. Lovely control by him. Plays it forward. Switched over towards number nine, but that goes straight into the arms of Howard Brown. Oh, he's chested it down. Cheeky. Goal kick here. Central Colts. I must say, it's all Central Colts at the moment. Six. Has a go with the outside of his boot. Good save by Howard. Tried to get it back across, but Thames Line works. Sweep it up again. Oh. <laughs> Handball there by the number eight. Theo comes forward. Tries to play it out to Bones. We haven't had much of the ball in this half. We need to get the ball down. There's Kerr. Doing brilliantly to get the tackle. Plays it into Charles. Charles back over to Bones. Switches it over. Keeper's dropped it. And that's got to be a goal. Yes, it is. Reese puts it in. One oh. Someone's flagging the, the, the line. Trust me, the linesman's flagging over the far side. He's sort of saying, look, 
The referee's going to go and have a look. The linesman's flagging for what I can only assume is to be handball or foul. That should be 1-0. I'm telling you now, that should be 1-0. The referee's going to have a look. And it looks like he's disallowed the goal. But the ball comes in. The goalkeeper tries to catch it. There's nothing wrong with that. There is definitely nothing wrong with that. Reese just gets his body in front of the ball, takes it out of his hat. He's already dropped it. He didn't have a hold of the ball. He didn't have control of it. He's just put his body in front of him. That should be 1-0. Um, yeah, the referee's disallowed it. That definitely should be 1-0, but, you know, maybe it's, you know, one all in, in, in the referee's mind. Um, Colts come forward again. No score by half-time. Falls to Theo. One touch. Strike. Oh, my Lord. What a strike that is. What a goal. Disallow that, you <laughs> I've got to have a look at that again. It came to him on the... It's got to be 20 yards out. Maybe more. Look, comes to Theo there. Chests it down. He's got lovely technique, this boy, I tell you. It's got to be 25 yards, that. 25-yard strike straight into the bottom corner. The keeper had no chance. That was a beautiful strike. I'll tell you now, we've looked at him. When we picked him up in the trials, this boy can strike them. It's absolutely brilliant goal. And we do go in... One nil up. Maybe should be two. But we'll make a, a case to uh, the referee. It looks a little bit against the run of play, actually. Central Colts have had more of the ball. Um, they scored. Maybe it was a case of handball. Sometimes it's given, sometimes it's not. Reese scored what I thought was a, you know, there's a half time whistle. But Reece scored what I thought was a, a a perfectly legitimate goal, but the referee ruled that one out as well. I'm sure he's trying to even that one up. But as we go in, Theo's goal is the difference. Beautiful strike from about 25 yards, put straight into the bottom corner. If we can hold on to this league, it'd be a massive win for Thames Ironworks. We've got High and Parks Royals next week, who, as we as we sit here and kick off the second half, they sit top of the league as they're winning their game. So top of the league clash this week, top of the league clash next week. As we're waiting to kick off here, don't forget to go and follow the Thames Ironworks Community FC Twitter account and Facebook account. Can't find a gate, can't fix his tripod. That's why we love Dan Lawless. There they come, Central Colts come forward. Malden puts in the challenge, does brilliantly there. Comes away from the defender, tries to play it inside, but he gets a throw on. Done brilliantly there, Luke. Balls all over the place, bobbling all over the place. Played through to Reese. Reese has got blistering pace, and he does. He pace. He goes past that defender. Should be two 0 Goes past the goalkeeper. Oh, he's tripped there. Was he tripped? We'll have to have another look at that. Reese is. The referee's having none of it. Reese is protesting. He went past the goalkeeper. I, I, I wouldn't see a, a reason why he would go down there without a touch. He's getting into all sorts of altercations. The the, the players are saying it's a free kick. He says he's tripped over, but Reese is he's adamant that he was tripped. Can we get a replay on that one? He's still protesting. <laughs> the number six is play acting to show him what he did. Reese is still protesting. But it's not going to be a penalty. He's brought it back for a free kick, that's why. So there we go. Theo whips it in. Oh, that was close. I'll tell you what, this boy's got technique. He's like a pound lamp pie yet. And Central Cobb's come forward now. 14, bouncing all over the place. Glenda picks it up. Oof. Puts it out to the far side. He's gone down. Luke plays it in. Bones is through. Rolls it to, to Reese. He's got to be 2-0. It's heavy touch. Oh, the forwards are just not on it today. Glenda's still down over the far side. Defender played through. Says, oh, my goodness. He's gone through him. Central Colts, number nine. Oh, he slotted it away. That's one all. Just after we had a chance to go 2 0 up and a heavy touch by Reese. Glander's down. And the ball came through. If you see this, he plays the ball through. Seth should just clean that up, but a, a dodgy bounce and he just misjudged it. That's unlucky. The boys, I'll tell you what, the second half they've come out, they've had a couple of chances, but I'll tell you what, that was a beautiful finish from the nine. Nice, cool, calm, and composed. 
Howard's was pointing at something. I don't know what he's pointing at, but it wasn't a foul, that's for sure. He's come off. Ben's come off. He's not, his afternoon's finished. Curtis will come on. Maybe he can get a goal. Central Colts. Reese is through again. Blister in pace. Defender comes across. Knocks him off. Through to Bones. Terrible. Absolute terrible. I don't think he's ever used his right foot, Tony Bones. That's a fact. Central Colts come forward. Lays it into the number six. He's had a very good game, the number six in the midfield. He has a strike. Oh, we had Howard scrambling there. That could have been 2-1. He did say he actually got a touch. Theo, coming forward. Can hear another wonder strike from him would be great now. Bones, all left foot, as I said. Laid back in by... Poor ball. It's cleared forward and now... Two on two, but Gittins picks it up magnificently. In the midfield, bobbling everywhere. Typical Sunday league match, this one. Kerr, he comes forward. There's Curtis. Centre forward, but comes deep, like Teddy Sheringham is. Reese plays it forward. Kerr, Kerr again, he's got a score. Oh, that's unlucky. He done. We've done everything right there, and he went through... He just couldn't wrap his, round, his foot round the shot. Unlucky from the Ironworks. Comes forward again. Central Colts win the header. If we keep on like this, another goal's coming. I'm telling you now, we're putting them all no, under all sorts of pressure in their box. Curtis wins it again. That's why we like him in the side, Curtis. Reese goes through. He's through one-on-one. -on -one. Defender to beat. He's not through one-on-one -on -one, then if he's got the defender to beat. Was that a penalty? He's calling for another penalty. The ref's having none of it. Reese is still down. The goalkeeper's out of his box. Central Colts come forward. The number six, who's had a magnificent game, plays it over the top. Towards the number nine, the goal scorer. He chests it down, past Cess, but Gittins comes across. Snuffs that one out. Iowa's throw up this end. Oh, good bit of skill there by Curtis to get across. Gets the ball across. Oh, just out of Danny Charles' reach. Can he roll it across? Oh, how did he miss that? It just bobbled across the line. We've had chance after chance after chance in this second half. And nothing's gone for us. We should be 2-3-1 up. Theo, over the top. Charles breaks a deadlock. Get it across. Two players in the box. Oh, my Lord. Can you believe that? He had a shot. The keeper rolled it straight back to him. He's saying that he got a touch, but I'm not sure he did. It was an open goal, and the chances we've wasted in this one is absolutely ridiculous. Curtis win the header. He's been brilliant since he's come on, Curtis. Through to Reese, who's been another willing runner. Just lacked that little bit of quality in front of goal. Good play between the two. Bones rolls it over to Reese. Reese puts it across the chart. Oh, my Lord. Bit more quality. Oh, Bones has a shot. Carroll comes in. Ginger Carroll, we call him. The chances we've had to win this one is absolutely ridiculous. They was on top in the first. We've just been all over them in the second. It's just been all ironworks. Through to Bones again. Get the winner now. Please. Cuts inside. Does brilliantly. Never used his right foot in his life. I told you. Weak shot. All the way over to the far side. There was Reese. He could have curled it in the far corner. But he's decided to pass it back to the goalkeeper. Donald. Gittins. So that's it. One all at the end. Great performance from the lads. Plenty of chances. Let's hope we can start putting some of them away in the next game. Let's have a look at where that leaves us in the table. Uh, as you can see, we are now third with a game in hand. So hopefully that's something we can build on in the coming games. Pick up some points as we look to challenge for promotion. So thank you all for watching this game. And don't forget to subscribe to the Thames Ironworks Community Football Club channel on YouTube and on Twitter and Facebook and all social media. We'll be back next week with a game 
against High and Park Royals, top of the league. It should be a good one. So make sure you check that out. We've got lots of updates coming up. We've got our kits coming soon. So stay up to date with everything that's coming up with the club. And we will be back next week.